honestly, I mean, I, I'll say that I'm not, because my dissertation was about prose, I always feel like I'm playing catch up in poetry, right? Because poetry has its own set of, um, of rules and its own set of, of theorists. Um, I think that the thing that appeals to me about poetry is the experimentation that's constantly happening with language there. It's, you know, poetry is this distilled space where writers will, will play with their own language and then will also bring in other languages. So in addition to being very translatable, I mean, it's, it's not very translatable, it's like untranslatable, but it's, um, it's short enough that people try to translate it. Right. Um, you know, prose is something that, you know, you can get the concept, right? If it's a short story, you can you can somehow get the concept across um, as long as you understand it well enough. Poetry, you might miss part of the concept, but people continue to try to come back to it and to translate it because it's, it's short and you can think about it and you can get the rhythm in your head. And um, and so you you find in poetry a lot of examples in in short spaces and you also find um, uh, writers expressing the emotion of a, of a single moment in a poem. I'm seeing that right now. Um, there's a, a poet, for example, who I've translated and, and worked on a little bit in just the last year, Dmitry Strotsev, who uh, last week was arrested on his way to work. He, um, he lives in Minsk. He's been active in the protest movement in Minsk. And on his way to work, they just, they picked him up and they took him to the prison where they're holding a whole bunch of writers and activists in Minsk. And he's just was just gone. You know, they, they figured out that that's what was happening and he's being held supposedly for 13 days or something like that. But um, since Thoretsev was arrested, social media has exploded with translations of his work. Like everybody's sort of come together and been like, and here's Thoretsev's poem that I translated last year. And here, I'm going to translate another of Thoretsev's poems today because I'm thinking about him. And you can do that, right? You can't translate a novel the day somebody's arrested, but you can take this poem and then you can add a little bit of yourself or you can write something and, um, and, and you get a snapshot of the emotions of, of a moment and sometimes of the complex emotions of a moment. And, and that's one of the reasons that I've turned to poetry for my next project, because I see people, you know, amidst the pandemic, amidst all of the protests that are going on in various parts of the world, but especially in Eastern Europe right now, uh, choosing poetry as the genre that they read, that they translate, that they, that they write um, as a way of reflecting this really confusing, you know, situation that they're in right now. Um, so, so that's that's what's drawn me over to poetry and you know as a creative writing major as an undergrad and since then you know I'll try my hand at writing poetry I don't consider myself a poet because I'm not a, I'm not a widely published poet <laughs> um but it's still it's always something that's available to me you know it, it, it is still something it's a genre that I feel that I can I I can play with and as a translator it's a, it's a very attractive genre because it's a way of measuring my linguistics box of tools against the linguistic box of tools that um, that the original was using and and it's a it's a way of connecting to what they're doing yeah. but I, I would I would say you know if you wanted to kind of dissect the poetry that um, that let's say these left-wing writers were using in the 1930s uh, often these poets were choosing poetry because uh, because of the slogans and because these um, were also songs that could be chanted at a rally. And so that's another aspect of a different kind of poetry. That's sort of the opposite of the, of the subtle sensitive, you know, slipping between gaps, rather it's a sort of flag waving um, use of, of verse and sometimes use of rhyme.